Hi, my name's Dave Ritzko, welcome. I'm from Transtar, I'm the technical product specialist there. And again, I know this is something we've done a few times, but I'm gonna to touch on the wrap kit. Transtar's remote assisted programming. But it's not really about the wrap. What it's about is programming in general. I'm telling you, programming in today's vehicle is just as important as checking the fluid level in a transmission. That's what it's coming to. Again, more computers, more sensors, more this. And again, everything being connected in the transmission. Um, it's really becoming very important to make sure they're all up to date. And I know one of the things I hear from uh, shops is, well, I can't sell it before. If you're not doing a programming check or a programming event, whether it be a mobile programmer, whether you have your own stuff, or whether you use WrapKit, I'm telling you, if you ain't getting your money up front for it, you're gonna pay for it in the end. And I know I get pushback from shops and that, well, customers aren't buying it. Well, I got two fixes for that. Let's use the doctor analogy. So when you go to have a program, and this works with the older folks like me, who we go to doctors more. A doctor won't do nothing to you until he checks you from head to toe. He's gonna check your heart, your blood, your this, your that. You're gonna get x-rays. You're gonna go in that little noisy tube and stuff. The doctor won't do it until he does that. Why? He's protecting himself. You are a car doctor. You need to protect yourself. And two, how do you get to the younger generation? Right here. Everybody has one of these. Now, funny thing about this is, it got software update. It lets you know it does it at night when you're sleeping. Again, everybody is familiar with this. Again, that's how you talk to your customers. Your phone does that, why? To make it work better, to make it operate better, to do this, bugs and fixes, your car's the same thing. Again, run that through them, and again, wouldn't it be great if a car just did that and you got a light and hey, your car's gonna update overnight? It'd be great, we ain't there yet, but I'll bet you in the near future that stuff's gonna happen, so you might as well get your nickels out of it now because once the OEs start updating like phones, you're not going to get paid to update no more. They're going to do it. They're going to charge. They're going to bill your address. So again, one more thing I want to go about this. You get a car come in. It has an issue. Let's talk about Cadillac. Here's a great example. This is an 18 Cadillac, 10-speed automatic, and it has a two to three second delay. Okay, is that the clutch is going bad? Is that this? This TSB here is no more than a program update. They have fixed the computers. I'll give you an example number two. Okay, example two is gonna be a Jeep. This is an 1819 Jeep, built on or before. And you go through it, the customer experience a shutter on a turn and also maybe a smell. Again, if he's driven it like that or the customer's driven it like that, could it be bad? Yes, it could. Now you have to go in and fix it. But here's the thing, I would try this first and it fixes it. Now here's the thing about doing a program event that makes their problem go away. Once they come to a transmission shop or to your shop, they generally have a fistful of cash because they already did homework on Google and they know how much it's gonna cost, so they're coming in with a whole bunch of money. If you could take this Jeep and you can flash it and they only, only take a little bit of their money, you have gained a customer forever because they're walking away with a whole bunch. You didn't steal their money. Now you could have, but you didn't. So let's go to number three on why you wanna flash. This is about a Mazda loses power. Sure sounds like a transmission issue to me. If it ain't moving or it's not moving, loss of power could be a transmission issue. They come to your shop, again, if it's bad. It's bad, but did this make it go bad? And this is no more than a programming event 
that could make this all disappear and glow. So guys, what I'm really trying to say is whether you use the wrap kit, whether you have a mobile programmer, whether you do your own, whether you go to a dealer, if you are not checking for any kind of things on the vehicle you're working at, like being a doctor on a patient, if you don't charge up front for this, and this issue after you get done fixing it because this caused it to go bad, you're gonna be paying out of your pocket because going back to a customer after you already said this is a set bill and by the way, I need a hundred and some more or whatever you charge for a programming event, yeah, customers don't buy into that too good. They'd rather come up front. And again, if you're having trouble convincing a customer, you can use the doctor thing. Always bring up the cell phone update because it happens on everybody's cell phone and your car is nothing more than a giant computer cell phone. So again, keep it up. Uh, contact your Transstar sales rep, transstar1.com or transcend.us. Thank you for watching.